Hi everyone, it's Janet back again for Islet Outlet. Today I've got a jam-packed show full of tags, bags, boxes, and card ideas for the holiday season, but I've snuck in a few for fall and for all occasion as well. As the holiday season quickly approaches upon us, it's time to really think about what we're going to do for our holiday projects. And I want to show you today how easy and quick it is to use Islet Outlet products to do this. So without further ado, let's get started. We have a great show special for you this weekend. It's 20% off all orders, including sale and clearance merchandise. It's good from Friday, November 13th through Sunday, the 15th at midnight. Just use the code NOVEXPO at checkout. Now is the perfect time to pick up what you need for your holiday crafting. I'm going to start with some Christmas projects. I've got three tags, all done by Susan Creech. You'll notice they all have a similar kind of diagonal pattern to them. Two have rosettes that she's made. On this one, she put the medium snowflake bling on top of the rosette and she used some swirl bling for interest on the top. At the angle, she's got silver glitter tape and a strip of our fancy long pearl and jewel bling in clear. They come in other colors as well. Now this one has a holly brad on top of the rosette and she's used skinny red and white and green tapes set at an angle. On this one, she's used green checked washi tape at the angle as well as wood tape, and it's got two pine cone brads for a lovely effect. Here's another pretty tag by Susan Creech, and this one uses the star glitter washi tape. She's used some clear bling and a little bit of wood washi tape to form the trunk of the tree, and then some silver washi tape cut to look like snow drifts on the ground below, which is very cute. And now I'd like to share with you three tags made by Lauren Burgold. All three are similar and they're made with craft cardstock. Two of these are very similar in that they have the Santa washi as well as the brick washi tape. They're just in different colors as you can see there. This one also includes the Ho 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 washi tape and our small snowflake bling in white. And this one adds the glitter star tape at the top and some snowflake brads. This, then this one includes a different Santa washi tape with a blue background and also added is the sleigh brad and star sequins. So these are three really cute small tags. Now I have a little blast from the past. I've got a cute decorated post-it note holder for you which was made popular many years ago but they're always a nice little gift to make for someone to put in a stocking or even on top of a package. I decorated it with the Santa and Mrs. Claus brads, the small snowflake bling in red and white, and holly brads in the corner. For this show we have partnered with Easy Laser Designs and they very kindly sent the design team three packs of six tags. I'm going to show you my tags first. They came in black and white, and the way they work is that there's two layers to each tag. The top of the tag is the one that has the laser cut in it, and then behind that is the full tag shape that shows through. So when you look at a tag like this, the back part is the full tag in white, and the laser is the black layer on the top. So let's take a look at what I did, which is really kind of painting with washi tape is what I've decided to call it. Although these are all outdoor theme, I made these into Christmas tags. So here we can see the bear. In the background is the mountain washi, and I used the long fancy pearl and jewel bling in black at the bottom. And at the top I used the holiday flower bling to set off the sentiment. On this one, I left the mountain part white, but I used the wide sky washi at the top, along with some fancy long pearl and jewel bling in blue, and then the frozen water, the ice, is silver glitter washi tape. This one is a beautiful buck. I filled the background with glitter tea tape, and this is the medium-sized snowflake bling along with our two white snowflake brads, and then I used a piece of holiday bling to accent the sentiment. This one is cut of a cabin and some trees, so starting from the top I have the medium snowflake bling, and a couple of the snowflake brads. I use gold glitter washi tape for the moon and for the trees I use green pattern water washi tape. Then the cabin itself is wood washi, the smokestack is brown glitter tape, the smoke is black glitter tape, and then I've put our snow people brads nestled together at the bottom. I think that one's really cute. 
The next one is a fire and it says warm winter wishes. I used wood washi for the logs in the background and the red glitter washi for the flames. The embers are all created with single red bling. And in the background, I also use the silver star foil tape and strips. And then some holiday bling by the sentiment again. My last tag is a waterfall on a cliff. I've got the sun and cloud brad set and the eagle brad shown here. Green glitter washi created the trees and I've added some pine tree brads for more trees. Down at the bottom is some light blue glitter tape and then I created my waterfall with just some oxide inks. So those are those tags. Let's take a look at a few fall tags made by Don Mercedes. Don did a fantastic job with a pack of six easy laser design tags in the fall theme and she used a variety of techniques with them. Let's take a little closer look at them. The first tag is a shaker style. It has sequins, our paper flowers, enamel dots, and thin foil washi. The happy harvest tag in the middle uses a basket from an apple stamp in the store. It also uses garden tool brads, vegetable brads, egg brads, bling, and our scarecrow brad. The corn itself was just loosely watercolored and then glued between the two tag layers to create that look. Very pretty. The I love you to my core tag was created using our apple brads, our bling, and some paper flowers cut to look like leaves. The next one is the squirrel tag and it uses foil washi on the top and bottom. There's glitter washi on the acorn. It has a candle brad with teardrop shaped bling as the flame for the candle, an eyeball brad, star brads, and enamel dots. She also used a strip of bling in yellow. Don's Scarecrow tag uses our green glittered patterned washi tape at the top with the dovetail. Then there is the mini butterfly brads, the sketched owl brad, and at the bottom are the sunflower and pumpkin brads. Don's tremendous maple leaf tag includes our leaf brads, mini leaf brads, and glitter washi tape to give that leaf a beautiful look. This is a card by Don Mercedes and it includes the sunflower brads, the pumpkin brad, the rake from the rake and lawnmower set, mini butterflies, and the scarecrow brad and the tractor brad set. For washi tape, she chose to use the glittered sunflower tape and the plaid green tape for the borders. I'm going to show some Christmas cards now and starting with something a little non-traditional. This is a beachy theme card from Lauren Burgold. She created a wreath with more of a beachy type greenery instead of the traditional pine boughs. And to decorate the wreath, she chose to use the corner shell brads. And she also used the seashore brads, which are these shells, and then our nutcracker brads. Finally, she added a little bit of blue pearl bling in various shapes to accent this really pretty and different wreath. If you're a beach lover, you've got to love this one. The next two cards I'm going to show you feature our newest gingerbread brads. Let's look at this one first. It's a very retro card from Susan Creech, and she's used a number of brads for this little collection of baking tools. She's got them all nested together on top of that heart. First is the mixer from the mixer and cup brad set. Then we have the baking brads, which is where we get the pan. That also comes with a wooden spoon. And then we have the rolling pin from the pan and rolling pin set. And then of course at the bottom are the three gingerbread people, which I already pointed out. It's just a fun retro card. Now this one is from Don Mercedes and she's done a slightly different take on the gingerbread house. She has the gingerbread people, a gold brad for the doorknob of the house, and it's got enamel hearts and enamel dots on the house. There are peppermint brads, a little bit of swirl bling, and some single bling. And then finally she used the candy washi tape in the background before she cut this shape. It's so cute. Here's another couple holiday cards. This one is by Susan Creech, and again, it has that very retro vintage feel. I love the little box of ornaments on this. She's put our ornament brads inside and also some single clear bling. It sure reminds you of the good old days, doesn't it? The second card is from Jeanette Cloyd, and she tells the story of the legend of the candy cane using our candy cane brads and our pine cones and our holly brads. This also kind of reminds me of a recipe card. You could put a treasured family recipe on it. It would be great as a holiday card. 
Designer Leslie created this beautiful card. It uses our star glitter washi tape as the background applied in strips. She added our snowflake brads and our profile and regular cardinal brads. She placed a few single pearl blings at the top of the card to finish the look. Leslie created this beautiful and simple card as well and it features our pinecone brads. Washi tape was used to create the border around the card both on the top and in the inside of this card. Did you know that we have deer and moose brads? Well, we do. This first card by Susan Matthews shows off our deer brads in different browns as well as our cardinal brads again, both the profile and the regular sets. It's really pretty and soft. Uh, Jeanette Cloyd's card shows our moose brad and the pine tree brads, which work very well together, obviously. And also on this card, we've got the glitter heart washi tape and skinny red and white polka dot tape. Our jewel bling in red is the perfect accent to this card. Lauren Burgold received a set of six tags from Easy Laser Designs in the Christmas theme, so let's go through these as well. The first is the candy tag on the left, and Lauren used twigs tape in the background and our peppermint candy brads. The middle stocking tag uses our poinsettia tape, poinsettia brads, and paper flowers. The ornament tag on the right includes our ornament brads and our ornament tape in the background. The bell tag is a collage of fancy Christmas gems, holly brads, and our paper flowers. The tree shaker card includes Merry Christmas script tape, red snowflake gems, star and snowflake sequins inside the shaker and red gem strips. And finally, the reindeer tag includes the season's greeting tape in the background and some snowflake brads. For you bear lovers, we have a couple cards featuring our polar bears and our brown bears. I made this card and it has the medium snowflake bling with red and white heart brads. I've got the adult and baby polar bear at the North Pole and I used a piece of gold glitter tape and dovetailed it to have that banner at the top. I also used some white glitter enamel dots on this one. This card features our polar bear set as well as our brown bear set and it also shows off our snowflake brads and one of our white heart shaped enamel dots down in the corner as well. Susan Creech celebrates the reason for the season with her card. She's used our swirl bling to highlight the beautiful star here and she's included our sheep brad. This is very very fitting for the holiday season. Let's take a look at some Christmas bags now. This one is created by Susan Matthews and she used three washi tapes, the green print washi tape and then two small print washi tapes, an ornament and Christmas tree. And she put them on a cardstock, then cut them in strips and wove them as you can see in the detail close up on the right. Then she applied the whole piece on a bag and used the red stripe skinny and the red glitter washi tape to frame it. Very fun. All right, I'm gonna show you some boxes for you right now. This one is by Susan Creech, and she decorated this one up to look like a gingerbread house with all the candies and goodies. So let's see what it has. She's used the sleigh and the reindeer brads and red and green enamel dots on the roof. She's got a wreath brad, some holly at the windows, and some candy and cookies. We have the candy cane, a lolly, peppermints, and our gingerbread people. She's even decorated the sides. This side has peppermints and lolly, and this side has the trees and she's got some glitter washi tape around the whole thing to represent snow. The back is also decorated with another wreath, some more gingerbread people, a sleigh, the snowman, and the whole thing is just really, really adorable. It almost makes you hungry and I swear you could smell that gingerbread. Now this box is one that I made and it's actually a box inside of a tag. Uh, what I decorated it with was the light bulbs which are around the roof of the house and then I've got some holiday bling here to decorate the door. I cut a holiday flower in half to decorate the windows and then I placed a red cardinal also at the window. It would have been perfect to have a wreath brad for the door but unfortunately I'm out of them so I had to make do with paper this time but that would have been even better on this little bag. Here are a couple more bag ideas that I have for you. I'll start with this one. It's kind of a tall skinny bag and I decorated this with some red glitter washi tape which I adore. It's such a pretty red and it's my favorite. And then I've used some pearl bling and three strips to decorate the top. The ornament is cut after I used the red glitter washi tape and a strip of Christmas tape to coat a piece of cardstock. Then I popped this in my Cricut machine and cut this ornament shape. 
To decorate it, I used a number of things. I've got the deer brads, some single pearl bling, and the holiday flower bling, which really sets that little ornament off. Down at the bottom is our fancy long white bling in red and clear. It's really, really pretty, and this also comes in multiple colors. Now this bag is super simple and quick to do. I've used our clear strip bling in variegated lengths from the top and bottom, and then decorated the jewel strips with bows, and I put little pearl bling on top of each bow, and then I hung ornament brads from the ends of the bling strips. It does make a really quick and I think elegant little bag. So I've got a couple fun quarantine related cards for you before I close. This one says, Llama stay six feet away. Lauren Burgold has uh, got our cute little llama brad on this as well as our llama washi tape in the background. So if you like llamas, you're going to love the coordinated sets we have of that. I encourage you to go to the store and check it out. Also, we've got caution tape and purple check tape used in the background. Super cute, kind of that wordplay on namaste too. This one is from Susan Matthews of an online dance party. She explains what Zoom is here, and we have the four children playing and dancing. So we've got our computer and headphone brad set, the music note brads, and we've also got a variety of washi tape behind the kids. This is some butterfly tape behind the purple little girl, building block tape, some zigzag tape, and finally heart glitter washi tape. These cards are so perfect right now. I have a couple food related cards for you next. This is one that I did and it has black glitter tape around the edges for the mat. I also used our watercolor washi tape and applied it in strips for the background and also the brick washi tape for the streets. For brads, I used the ice cream brads and the music note brads at the top. And then I also have the heart shaped enamel dot on the truck. This one is by Don Mercedes. It's so cute. It says, I flip and love you, and it has the silver glitter pattern tape. She used that to create the mat around her uh, card. She used the red and white star tape as well as the skinny blue glitter washi tape in between. For brads, she used our grill and apron brads, the pot holders from our cooking set, and Don also used the silver glitter tape on cardstock and then cut out the starburst shape and also the stars, which ties everything together. Designer Lauren created a matching gift bag and card in this set. Isn't it pretty? She used a variety of washi tapes, including our flower and bird related washi, as well as our paper flowers and some single pink bling. This is a very special way to make that perfect gift even more perfect. Designer Don made this bagalope, which is a bag made from an envelope. If you're interested in it, look it up in YouTube. You'll find the instructions. She used llama washi tape, skinny foil washi, skinny purple tape, heart-shaped enamels, and our sequins. It's always nice to be able to repurpose instead of buying new, and Don cleverly repurposed this black gable box into a perfect little birthday box with our washi tape and embellishments. She used the macaroon washi tape, gold foil washi tape, skinny pink polka dot tape, sequins, clear swirl bling and bumpy heart bling. To finish up, I've got two really cute cards from Don Mercedes. The first one is called Crabby Lately and it includes the seagull brad, the sun from the sun and cloud brad set, the palm tree, crabs from the crab and lobster set, and she's used the sun castle brad and the corner seashell brad. She finished it up with a little pearl bling and she really created a very cute beach scene with this one. The last card for today is called Touches Your Heart and it has many of our different colored enamel dots in heart shapes. It also uses some sequins and our clear pearls to give this card the final touches. Well, that wraps up our holiday show for you today. Don't forget to use the code NOVEXPO for your 20% off all your orders, which are valid from Friday the 13th through the 15th of November. Until next time, this is Janet from Islet Outlet. Have a wonderful holiday season and happy shopping.